Good morning, Charlie Pierce. Morning, Charlie. I'm going to go take a cold shower. <laughs> Are you on your fainting couch, Charlie? You look very, no, very, I'm, very I'm, fetching. I'm sitting up. I'm sitting up. I am in. He's in bed. bed. Okay. But right. I'm sitting up. So. You know what it is? Yeah. It's your Dolly Parton glow. You said I got my first it dose is. of Dolly I, Parton's I, I, little I, miracle and the world just got bigger again. I loved your piece. It's true. Yeah. It's true. I felt like a different person walking out of the uh, Tom Menino YMCA in Massachusetts. I, you know, I did. You was, said as I hit it was the, really no, it was it was it was a very nice feeling. You said as I hit the sidewalk, uh, that area of perception around me almost uh, uh, I, I, probably expanding to the old boundaries again. The world was bigger again, and my place in it was growing was uh, growing all around me. Thanks, Dolly. I mean, it is amazing, right? It is that feeling of oh my god, we could actually have normal normalcy, freedom again. I mean, it was well, yeah, it, and. and you know, and and we have some leadership on the subject too. Yeah. 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 No, we're not the, the the level of dis. I mean, if if you want to ignore the disinformation, you can now because it's not coming from any place. Right. You know that that you have to hear it. It's not like it's coming from the White House. It's coming from, you know, the the, you know, wild kingdom of the internet. Yeah. We was this your second dose or first? No, I had my second dose is coming in a, April first. Okay. April full. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's uh, it really is exciting. We all have vaccine envy here, Charlie. We are all yes. staring daggers at you, but very happy for well, you at the same time. I'm an old guy. You know, I, I, it's one of the perks of, you know, it's like an AARP discount. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, it, here's, I was reading. Like one... I, I, it's like an all you can eat buffet. <laughs> <laughs> but no more buffet. It's an early, it's an early yeah. bird. Buff, it's an early bird buffet of, of, you know, deracinated viruses. Well, you know, I mean, we've all had it. So I have I have some of that feeling you do in that I'm like, I have some immunity. So it is a different feeling, but it's still cautious, isn't it? It's still like a cautious, you know, because yeah, well, see, the, yeah. I mean, the, CD, the, the CDC yesterday, you know, tried to tamp things down a little bit. And I don't blame them. Right. Uh, but, uh, no, I have I have, uh, you know, and, and to be honest with you, it's, it was the I was. Actually, I was telling Chris this before we came on. It's the it's the easiest injection I've ever had. I mean, it just yeah. and I'm a baby about that stuff, but yeah, it didn't hurt at all. Well, I mean, the <clears> second <throat> day, there I was pretty wiped out, but I wasn't like sick, sick. You know, I was yeah. just kind of logy and you know. Yeah. Well, you mm -hmm. know, Charlie, we were. I was saying, I understand the reasoning that people are you know, psychologically so tired that you say, well, if nothing changes after you get the vaccine, it takes away people's motivation to get the vaccine, but it does change as you wrote about. I mean, it does change things. I think it's just you because, because of the variants and how many other, when you get vaccinated, you will feel better about yourself. I guarantee right. that. Right. But my point is you have, we have to keep doing the same things until because of the variants and until everybody gets vaccinated. I mean, I, I think the next thing we're going to run up against is stories like this one. Uh, Trump, a supporter of Trump says she will not take the vaccine because the former president was not personally involved in its creation. 80-year-old Trump voter from Oklahoma named Margaret said uh, he didn't develop the vaccine. Scientists did it. <laughs> Margaret's story is part of a larger story in the Post about diehard Trump supporters who were refusing to take any vaccine, which could jeopardize America's chances of reaching herd immunity and ending the pandemic. Uh, Kaiser Fan, uh, Family Foundation poll found 28% of Republicans say they will definitely not get vaccinated. Another 18% said uh, we'll wait and see. So this is going to be it. This is the next problem we're going to hit, right? Is because mm -hmm. I'm not, I mean, I'm not entirely sure we can rely on those poll numbers for the long term. I think family and peer pressure are, mm -hmm. are going to yeah. overcome whatever this reluctance is. Yeah, I really believe. That. I mean, I think Margaret's great grandchildren out there in Oklahoma are going to go to her and say, look, uh, if you want to see us get the damn shot. Yeah. I mean, what did you expect? Donald Trump was going to be in like a laboratory in the basement of the White House mixing up. You know, I you was know, just, Charlie, it's funny. You recombinant say recombinant RNA. You know, it's funny because we all have 
at least I do, have an anti-vaxxer friend. I thought that. I hate to say it, but it, it you know, I, the way you say it is good in a loving way. But I think it is going to take uh, peer and societal pressure. Like I was thinking, if I have start having parties again, I'm going to say you have to be vaccinated mm -hmm. to come, or you're Same not invited. You're not invited. <laughs> I mean, Same you know, I, I just. Right. And I think it should be that way to fly to restaurants, whatever mm -hmm. you should have to. I mean, there'll be, there'll be, a, there'll be a legitimate excuse for why nobody shows up at your party. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and not just my horrific personality. So I will be like, Hmm, is it the anti-vaxxer thing or my horrific personality? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I see, just... you got your, I, I see you've got your lighting problem corrected today. Well, oh, only because it's only, uh, I have 20 more minutes till hour three. And also, oh, okay. it's, a little I'm, I'm, it's a little cloudy. I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not experienced that kind of Lourdes thing that I had last week. Yes. The lovely yeah. lady. Yeah. Or I look like in the Patrick, it's, Patrick Swayze and Ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's a little overcast today, too. So Yes, that's my there, point. Yeah. Okay. It's overcast in Los Angeles? Are we cutting up goats? Yeah. Or? It might we're, rain we're tomorrow. Rain. Yeah. yeah, we're expecting rain tomorrow. This is, oh, man. This is Sans pillow, I pillowcase. I, I didn't need my pillowcase this morning. Okay. Um, but here's stories <laughs> like this. Trump's silence on vaccination is helping Russia ramp up COVID anti-vax propaganda. Oh, my God. Here mm -hmm. we go again. Right? Trump is giving an assist to Russian propagandists who are trying to undermine confidence in two of the COVID vaccines. Trump's continuing silence on getting vaccinated, playing into Russia's hands. The uh, State Department report, I don't know if you read this, has been backing Kremlin. It's been tracking Kremlin back sites, pushing false narratives about Pfizer and Moderna in particular, basically claiming they are unsafe and cause serious side effects. Russia's efforts to spread anti-vaxxer disinformation in the U.S. are being aided by the actions of Trump, who refused to endorse uh, the vaccine to his tens of millions of supporters who are among the least likely to get the shot. Um, they say, so it echoes another Kremlin orchestrated anti-vax dis disinformation campaign that coincided with Trump's first presidential run. Um, it's just a, here we go. Russian prop. And I've seen this, haven't you? Pushing conspiracy theories that Pfizer vaccine causes Bell's palsy, the false claim that it isn't effective in older people, that people continue to contract COVID after getting the vaccine, despite those being debunked. But so now we're fighting all of these forces, the anti-vax movement that already exists here, Russian disinformation, right? Yeah, but again, uh, I, I I think there's a, I think there's a incredible hunger to return to normal life, yeah. and I think it is becoming increasingly clear to just about everybody that getting vaccinated is the way to return to normal life. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's not a hard sell, by the way. Yeah, exactly. The only hard, the, the only the only really hard sell is getting people to have to wade through the bureaucracy to get the shot. Right. Which. You know, I admittedly, you know, we could we could be doing a lot better job in a lot of places. Than, yes. Than yeah. That. Um, speaking of the of COVID and the COVID relief bill, um, it, it just, you know, I love you because you say this all the time. You said the blog's first law of economics, uh, the deficit. People got no jobs. People got no money. It is a triumphant day in the Senate. It's it, I, it, it's hard to oversell how really great this this bill is. It's a, it, it's a freaking giant accomplishment. Uh, mm -hmm. and you can pick at it and I'm, I'm certainly willing to pick at it if you want to, but it's the, it's the biggest social program passed since the great society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a complete abandonment of everything that drove me crazy about the Democrats for the last 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute. You know, you know, ab, you know, first of all, they didn't need any Republicans. Therefore they didn't go begging. Right. And, and second, and, and, and second of all, they're not talking about deficits anymore. I yeah. mean, they're talking about helping people. They're talking about, you know, child poverty. They're talking about daycare. I mean, there's a lot of Senator Professor Warren in this bill. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Well, and you, you, you had two great tweets on it. You said, see the COVID bill that just passed the Senate. That's why Republicans in Georgia are trying to st strangle the franchise. And you said, looks like the COVID bill just survived the Senate with no Republican votes. They should all feel free to run against COVID relief for the next several elections. Yep. I mean, that's why that's the only strategy is, oh, well, let's stop, you know, more people from voting because, I, you know. Well, I mean, I just saw that uh, that the governor of Iowa just signed mm -hmm. a, a voter suppression act. Yeah. Uh, and the one in Georgia, I mean, how much of a pissant do you have to be yeah. to make a misdemeanor to bring water and food to people waiting in line? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I Who know. even I thinks know. of that, let yeah. alone votes for it? Yeah, let's outlaw kindness. I mean, it's, it's really... Um, and yeah, you talked to oh uh, Tom Cotton. This just seems like all they have is this misinformation about, uh, you know, undocumented immigrants che get checks. They don't. 
That's a complete lie. And then the thing about prisoners, as you pointed out, Tom Cotton talked about, oh, the Boston bomber is going to get a check. And you said a bobble throated yeah. slap forgot the CARES Act, which he just voted for how many months mm -hmm. ago. Why does he support terrorists in prison? Right. It's, yeah. it, it, you know, again, because of a quirk of the IRS or whatever. And by the way, happened what, in the, in what the Trump, is yeah. Joe Karzarnayev, who's in Supermax awaiting mm -hmm. execution, going to spend his $1,400 on? Yeah. Cigarettes. I mean, yeah. So, I, yeah, that's a lot yes. of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but even Mitch McConnell, you were saying like, but uh, Charlie, is it six senators are are retiring Republican? I, they're I would, done. I yeah, mean, they're, 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 they've had it. They see the writing on the wall. I mean, the, the, there's a piece in Politico today about how the the Trump is next, you know, the next beachhead is to replace all these set, retiring senators with, you know, the Mo Brookses of the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, you said, and it appears Mitch McConnell has done all the dirty work of which he's capable. His escape plan would guarantee Kentucky's Democratic governor doesn't do anything crazy like act with the full powers of his job. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that Mitch McConnell was looking for the exit, too. I, 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 and just like we were saying, Trump just sends out a press release saying, send all the money to me. Don't send it right. to the Republican Party. Right. And they'll do it. That's mm -hmm. the amazing thing. They have to know that. And not only that. But after he does that, and after he threatens to sue the Republican Party for using his name and his face, the Republican National Committee decides to do half its retreat at Mar-a-Lago. Right. Yeah. Right. And he so, and he's going to speak. He's all they've got. He's all they've got left. And he's going to speak. At which time he'll say the same thing as at CPAC: "Send the money to me, not the Republican mm -hmm. Party. Send all the money to me. All your monies go to me." <laughs> and he, and he's going to make all the money there. But that's but they're going to put the money right into his pockets by having the dinner mm -hmm. there and the event there and pay him to. It's just it's extraordinary this cult, right? Well, it, I mean, it, it, they have no place else to go. Uh, they're even. I mean, even their, even their, uh, you know, their business uh, sugary daddies are wondering where the party's gone. And we're trying to save them, and I feel like it's going to be that cult scene with all the sneakers just left. We're trying to, we're trying to save you. <laughs> it's just going to be MAGA sneakers. Okay, I I got dark, but I can't. I just I don't know what to do. Yeah, they're they're. I mean, we're the listen. Cult programmers, deprogrammers are saying like their calls are through the roof. But do we can we deprogram enough of them quickly enough to save them? I don't know. No, well, I, you know, it's sometimes you just got to cut a you just got to cut a person loose. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah well, yeah. and they also have to want to be saved in order to be saved. Exactly. You know, yeah, you, you can't right force. Don't I know? Out why, of a cult. why do you think I'm si yeah. I'm single? Until I know it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's count the ways. Oh, shut yeah. up, Charlie. Just say goodbye. Say goodbye to your lover. <laughs> goodbye, my love.